the statement that is coming from the Integrity Commission does not contain an apology from Mr. Christie. It is not an apology. And in any event, if it were even an apology, it would not be sufficient. Mr. Christie has indicated by virtue of that statement, clear, clear bias. He has brought the Integrity Commission into disrepute. Again, anyone listening to that statement and the context in which it was made would be quite clear in their assessment that Mr. Christie was indicating that he was placing blame on the government of Jamaica for the shooting of an operative of the Integrity Commission. He ought to go, and he knows it. He knows that. And so I'm sure do the honorable and distinguished members of the Integrity Commission. Any organization in a democracy functions only to the extent that it has the confidence of the people in that democracy. And Mr. Christie has brought the Integrity Commission into disrepute again, and he needs to go. You cannot build an institution. You cannot encourage persons to have confidence in an institution when there is a person like this at the helm who repeatedly brings that organization into disrepute. Time come, time come for Mr. Christie to resign, says Peter Champagne. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on, put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 10k, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, mounting calls for resignation of the Integrity Commission's director, Mr. Greg Christie for what is deemed as reckless comment made by him. Stay tuned for what will be unfolded in this video, my people. While on the at it, drop a like on the video. So following Thursday's gun attack on Ryan Evans, who is the senior director employee for the Integrities Commission Corruption Prevention, where Mr. Christie was asked by a few journalists what was his take on the incident and he made a remark that they deem to be reckless and right now my people mounting calls from various groups asking for him to step down asking for him to resign and we know that this is the second time around that they're asking for him to resign my people remember back in 2023 20, of february my people were Government senators call for Christie's resignation or removal over the commission's handling of the findings of a probe into conflict of interest allegations against Prime Minister Andrew Olness. So right now, my people, this is the second time around that they're calling for him to resign. And here's a statement that he made following the shooting of his co-worker. What's your thoughts on the shooting? You should ask the government that. Why, sir? What, what does it mean, sir? Ask them what that means. And we know, my people, that the police are saying that, you know, they're treating it as a robbery incident for now. And we heard where a briefcase was stolen from Mr. Evans. And that was seen to be as a political bias and inflammatory by several individuals. On Friday, distinguished attorney Peter Champagne, King's Counsel, describes Christie's comment as reckless and said that he should resign. Equally, the Jamaica Accountability Meter portal, in a statement issued to the media, said Christie's position was untenable and called for him to step aside. They even calling on the civil society to ask him to resign. When you see this, my people, I'm going to make you hear what the president of JAMP has said and what the King's Council, Peter Champagne, has said. So the executive director, Jeanette Calder, from JAMP, quoted that we appreciate the work the commission does on all our behalf and does present considerable strain for its staff and we also appreciate that this has been further exacerbated by reported threats over time as well as a hostile commentary 
emanating from our parliamentarians. And we know, say, a long time they made a call for the government to beef up security for them, as well as we know the battle between them and the parliamentarians for some time ago. Right, my people? She said that the shooting incident could only have served to heighten the stressful environment in which the IC staff work. She, however, noted that while JA MP felt deepest regret and sympathies for the troubling attack on the commissioner's director, the comments of its executive director were highly unacceptable and irresponsible. She said, given the extent to which we believe Mr. Christie's response has further compromised the confidence of many Jamaicans and undermined that element of impartiality that is vital to achieving their objectives. And therefore, Christie should resign in the interest of both the Integrity Commission that he has served since May 2020 and the anti-corruption cause that he has fought for over two decades. As well as King's Council Champagne's call came in a biting letter to a news media noting that it was expected that parliamentarians be biased in their public pronouncements in favor of their political parties. Champagne said gatekeepers of national integrity exhibiting bias must be rejected. He said Mr. Christie's response is reckless and betrays the very core function of what the Integrity Commission ought to represent. It provides fodder for those who would want to suggest that our Integrity Commission is politically biased. He pointed out the indications by cops that the shooting attack sprung from a robbery. He quoted that Mr. Christie's utterance therefore must be condemned in the strongest possible terms and does not sit well for good governance in Jamaica and that he wants the civil society to insist upon the resignation of Mr. Christie and that they must not exercise their vocal cards for politicians only. He is urging that politicians themselves on both sides of the aisle must be unified in this position. They must not be hypocritical as many have been refusing to concede to the fact that strict usage of duty-free concession licenses is more honored in breach than the observance. This is so provides no justification of any deviation of what should be obtained in law. One should not politicize this matter beyond what it is. Not everything should exhibit political bias. Time come, time come for Mr. Christie to resign, says Peter Champagne. Talk up in the comment section, my people tell me what to think about these two personals asking for Christie to resign based on the comments that he made after the shooting of his co-worker. Should Mr. Christie resign because of what he said, knowing that he had been asking for the government to beef up security for the Integrity Commission staff for many, many months now, my people? Give me an honest opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run, go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anisabel Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment and like and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes out to Evelyn Meekle. Big up yourself, Evelyn Meekle. Big up to each and every subscriber. Thanks for all the support. On the road to 10k new viewers come on board journey with me join the family subscribe to the channel share out some of the videos like up the videos stay tuned for more videos big up on yourself